The general leans back in his chair after reading the reports of the Dagama campaign. The results are not good, but not life-ending either. Ariadna can recover from this. He breathes at the stress of this knowledge. The chair folds around his taut, muscular frame, carrying his burdens for a moment. There is a knocking at the door. Can I get enough bad news for one day? Who is it? I have a Corporal Ashcroft and a Mechanic Kulish to see you, sir. Bring them in, Private. Two men walk in, clothes dirty and their faces unshaven. They look like they have not taken a shower for a month. One, walking upright with a swagger in his step, must be the Corporal. The other stiff and hesitant with his head up. Both men walk into the office and stand to attention in front of the General's desk. Corporal Ashcroft, from the 1st Highlander SAS and Mechanic Coolish from the Rakop Regiment, sir. Why am I talking to a corporal and a mechanic? Is this some joke? We are reporting our results from the Crimson Stone mission, sir. The General's eyebrows went up, eyes widening, creases forming on his forehead. Antipodes be damned. I forgot about that mission. At ease, both of you. He gestures to the chairs behind them. The soldiers retrieve the chairs and sit in front of the general. Hard lines drawn across their faces, eyes looking front but focused on something more distant. What is your debriefing, Corporal? It was tough, sir. We knew it would be, but we just managed to survive. Continue, Corporal. Give me a short debrief of events and what transpired. Well, sir, we managed to sneak into lock station fine, no dramas. Our first mission drill was easy enough. We planted evidence at Mines Corp offices hinting that Rocker Works may be up to no good. We had a small skirmish with nomad forces. Our intel was poor, there were no local police authorities on lock station, only nomads from what we encountered, sir. Hmm, interesting. Continue. Our second mission Jackleg was to break into Rocker Works building and plant evidence that Mines Corp did the break-in, however it did not happen. Nomad security was tight around the Rocker Works building. Looks like they were there to protect Nomad's interests and we failed at breaking in and planting the false evidence. Augur was a failure too. Nomad forces were ready and waiting. Much as I thought if I were in their position sir. Obviously, they were not lazy and enjoying a break as we were briefed. Someone gave us, hopeful, intel, not real intel. Continue. Things were looking desperate. The team leader decided to continue with the mission. Reason was, if we cannot prevent Rocker Works from having the data, at least we can disrupt and slow down their success by stealing the Crimson Stone location data from their prospecting ship. We moved rapidly and managed to sneak on board the Pacapidris, download the data, then wipe the ship's systems of all data relating to Crimson Stone, sir. That was the easy part. Get in, get out. We did not anticipate the swiftness of the Nomad defense. Lock was locked down tight, like an antipode's jaw around your mate's neck in a gunfight. We did create confusion with their systems comms traffic, helping us to escape. Before their forces were all over the dockyard, I laid some D charges in the dockyard control module with a timer. I grabbed the nearest friendlies being Coolish here and a couple of others, then run towards a small mining ship. Wolf and Senna were gunned down. We both made it on board and Coolish flew us out of there as fast as possible. It saddens me to hear that more of our soldiers have died today. A small pause of silence sits between the survivors and the general, each lost in their own thoughts. Where is the data now, Corporal? It is with the comms guys being analysed as we speak. It was the first thing I did since returning, sir. And how long have you been back, Corporal? About 30 minutes, sir. Well, I'll be damned. They have only just now returned. This mission was sent out months ago. The general leans back, the chair crying out from the weight of this new knowledge, burdening an old man's responsibilities. This makes the situation more complicated. Damn. The general slowly rises his tough frame, lifting out of the safety and comfort and into readiness for action, turns and looks at the dirty and disheveled clothes of the soldiers before looking into their faces. This changes things drastically. You have heard about the reports from Dagama, no doubt? Only what we have heard since arriving back. Nothing substantial, sir. Good. 
Get yourselves cleaned and get food into your stomachs. Good work, Corporal. Once you are clean and fed, report back to your unit for further tasking. Make sure you get some r before commencing duty. Yes, sir. Coolish. Glad you made it back. Your boys in Cosmoflot did a good job keeping the Raven Eye Station protected from the alien menace. You soldiers did good up there. Make sure you are fed and washed before getting a flight back home. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Both soldiers moved and lifted themselves off their chairs, backs straight, eyes front, in front of the general who was standing behind his desk. One more question before you both leave. What took you so long to return? Query is the general, one eyebrow raised, as if asking the question itself. We had a ship follow us, sir. We were not sure if it was a nomad detachment or someone else. We had to run and hide within the asteroid belt. It was tough, but Coolish here managed to shake the shadow. We had to wait for a few weeks to make sure the shadow was not there. Once I was sure enough, we broke free from the asteroid belt. On our way here, we detected numerous alien starships entering Concelium Prima deep space. A few scout ships flew forward and we flew right back into Brissingamen Belt for cover. Once the starships left Concelium space, we flew out and came back as fast as we could, still flying the long route back of course. Hence, we were late sir. Okay then. Well, I'm glad you were back. Get out of here you two and get back to your regiments. Our battle with the alien menace and the human sphere not over yet. Both soldiers stiffen and salute the general, turn and walk out of his office. The general walks over to his briefing screen on the side wall, looking over the plans and data of the concilium space being displayed on the screen. Casually scanning of the bright green markers of his fleet's ships setting up for exiting space. Friendly forces, if he could call them that, were also moving into position, readying their engines to jump from space. Cosmoflot fought well with the nomads during Dagama and kept the alien menace at bay. While a truce was agreed upon by both nations to assist with its latest ground and space battle, behind the curtain, diplomacy still reigned. Crimson Stone was a failure for sure, with both nations having located location of the prized asteroid. Ariadna can rebuild its forces with the precious minerals from Crimson Stone, use its value for wealth and finance recovery of its forces. The general knows this is a vital asset. He looks at his chair, faded brown leather, small pockets of burn marks from cigar ash scattering on the chair's arms. A lifetime of contemplation and concerns, leaving their evidence, only to remind him of the importance of his position as general. Thoughts begin to swirl, flowing past and into each other, formulating the beginnings of a plan, only a spark of imagination, yet enough to recover from this disaster of an operation. While the, human sphere, while the human sphere forces are regrouping and preparing to move out of Concilium Prima, the general reaches over to his comlink on his desk, lifts it. Captain, I have a new mission for you. Organize a detachment of engineers from Cosmoflot ASAP. I want to destroy an asteroid 